the living God. We thank you this morning. We give you praise, Spirit of the living God. Come on, anoint, anoint. Let the anointing fall upon us. Let the anointing come upon each and every one. Father, Lord God, let there be miracles and healing. We pray in the name of Jesus. We rebuke sickness this day. We rebuke infirmities. We rebuke every works of Satan in the name of Jesus. We bind every hex, every jex, every witchcraft, every occult. We sprinkle the blood over mankind. We sprinkle the blood of Jesus over this day, over this service. And mighty God of Israel, we thank you for miracles. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for the word of God, quick, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. And Lord, your words in Luke 10, 19, you give us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the works of the enemy. And Father, we give you praise. Bless, anoint, Denise, anoint. The song that we will sing. You are the everlasting God. Oh God, help the poor. Help the needy, Father. Oh God, bring salvation this, this day, Father. And Lord, we promise to give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name. And everyone says? Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Lift your hands. And let's welcome the Holy Spirit this morning. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome. Holy Spirit, take complete control. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh. Spirit of the living God, anoint afresh. Spirit of the living God, come and quicken. Quicken us to pray. Quicken us. Quicken your word. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Lord, we pray the anointing, Father. The anointing, Holy Spirit, thou art welcome. Spirit of God, you are welcome. Take complete control, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you for your mercy and your grace. We have mercies in this house. We thank you for healing in this house. We thank you for resurrection power. We thank you for life and life abundantly. We take that authority right now in the name of Jesus. I'll be declaring you holy, your light, your song. Oh, we bless your name. We magnify your name. Get things in the Lord. Lord. Oh, we bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's sing that song. Hallelujah. And I'll call sister to lift this church in prayer, lift every family in prayer for salvation, healing. Amen. God is doing a wonderful work. Amen. Luke 10, 19, he said, Behold, he gave us power. And serpents and scorpions and over all the works of the enemy. Nothing by enemies shall hurt us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And Sister Dan is coming and we're going to worship the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, for the Lord God Almighty reigns. Come on, worship Him, worship Him, give Him your Hallelujah. this morning and we just want to honor the name of the Lord this morning 
as we come before you, God, this morning in, in spirit and in truth to worship you, God. We just want to cry, holy, holy, holy unto you, O oh God. You said, God, the rocks will cry out if we don't praise you. So, God, you give us life, you give us breath to get up and to come to this place this morning. What an honor, what a privilege, oh God. What a joy it is to come in, in the house of God, to praise God and to worship him. Oh God, we are so thankful this morning, Daddy, that you can bring us in this house to, to gather in your name to worship you, Lord. Father, we bless you today, God. We bless you today. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Welcome to touch everyone who is present here this morning, who might not be even feeling uh, um, as though they want to praise you. But Father, today we just ask that your Holy Spirit come and quicken us, Lord God. Quicken us, Father God. Put your spirit in us, Lord, that we will worship you, God. Lord, we just thank you. We could be doing so many things outside, but thank God today that he allowed us to come and to and to lift up his name. I just want to read um, a few verses in Psalm 25. It says, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, O my God. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. See what we are saying here today? We lift up our soul, we, and we will not allow the enemy to triumph over us. No one whose hope is in you will ever be put to shame. That's promises of God. It's, it's so beautiful. But they will be put to shame who are treacherous without excuse. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God and my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. So, Father, we thank you for your promises this morning, O God. Lord, we can just build on that, and we can just, Lord, with these few verses of scriptures, God, Lord, we can spend our day just um, worshiping you and just just know, just know, uh, wanting to know who you are, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you, and we bless you for this church. We ask, oh God, this morning as we go through this morning's service, Father God, that your presence will be here with each one of us, oh God. Father, that you will anoint Pastor Kamal, oh God, as he brings the word, Father. He is so, Father God, so, um, um, can't even think of the word right now, Father God, but just uh, on fire to preach your word and to reach the lost. So whoever is watching today, Lord God, I, I just pray that they will open their hearts and they will receive the word of God, the word of the true and living God. Father, we just want to bless everyone who is here, who is out watching, and, and Lord, that you will just, uh, uh, one word that will be spoken today will be that they will identify with that word, and Father, that they will have healing and deliverance, Lord. So Father, tonight, to this morning, we bless you. We, we thank you for every member who have come out here this morning, Lord. Bless them, especially an extra blessing upon them, Father. And Lord, we pray for the families who couldn't make it this morning, Lord. God, we lift them up before you, Father. God, they may be going through so much in their lives, Father. But God, let them know that they are not alone, oh God. That we hear the family of, and the body of Christ is lifting it up, Father, before you. And Lord, we just want to pray for Lebanon right now. Yes, Father. Mighty God, that disaster, who, but that probably, it seems like it came out of nowhere. But God, you knew what was about to happen. Father, we pray for these uh, people, oh God, who was injured, and Lord, the ones who lost loved ones, God, we just pray that you would comfort them today, Father. And oh God, not only in India, I mean, not only in, in Beirut, but in India, Lord, in Mumbai, Lord, what happened in, in that, it's such a disaster, God, seeing people washed away, oh my God, just washed away like, like nothing. So Father, we cry out to yes, you for yeah, these people, oh God. Yes. That your spirit will come and touch. Yes. Wake up in there, Lord God. Wake up the people, Lord God. That the eyes will be open to see, to turn to you, oh God, and, and, and just to trust in you. So, Father, we just thank you this morning. We, we just pray for your grace and your mercy to be in this place upon each one of us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you so much. Praise God. Give God a round of applause. Thank you, Sister Dan. Amen. And uh, uh, Sister Dan was, was praying the, um, 
God is saying, our intercessor arise. Amen. Arise. Yes. This, this, Amen. this is time to intercede for your family. As I said last yes. Tuesday, the, the devil going like a roaring lion, yes. seeking who to devour. devour. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This time we'll collect our, our tithes or our offering. I don't want to thank you for giving. Amen. Because you Amen. give, we could be here in this church. Amen. Amen. Thank God for those who are online that give online. As you give your donation, it helps us to preach the gospel. Amen. And to be in Toronto. And to God be the glory. God bless your bread. Bless your water. Exodus 23, 25, he says, you'll bless your bread. you bless your water. And God says he'll never see the righteous forsaken or receive begging bread. Let me pray. Would you stand? Would you lift your offering up? Amen. And uh, before you give your offering, just put your hands on your offering. I pray, I pray a, a, a hundredfold this morning. Return, amen. I pray that God will bless you. Bless you, stand, and let's agree. Father, I agree in the name of Jesus, Him, Lord, for those who are going through financial difficulties. Lord, I pray and I rebuke the devourer. I pray for the tithes and the offering for those who have to give and those who don't have to give. Oh, God, I pray you open doors for employment. I pray, God, for favors in the business favor upon their lives. Father, I pray money, miracle, mortgages will be paid off. Line of credit will be paid off. Spirit of the living God, you supply all your children needs according to your riches in glory. Lord, you said you'll never see the righteous forsaken or the seed begging bread. And Lord, you promise you'll make us the head and not the tail. You'll make us lender and not borrow. So once again, in the name of Jesus, bless your people. I declare Deuteronomy 28 upon their offering and declare Luke 6 and 38 press down running over that men will give unto their bosom so bless every tithe every offering multiply it a thousand times I pray in Jesus name and everyone says amen. amen thank you so much for giving because you give we could go to India and, and Dubai and, and Sri Lanka and preach the gospel amen Amen. It takes money to go around the world to preach the gospel. And thank God for all the souls. Amen. Amen. It's all about souls. Amen. Souls for the kingdom of God. And thank God that it's a, a day of breakthrough. Amen. It's a day of miracle. It's a day of restoration. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within in Jesus' name. You can stand with me, amen. Bless the offering again, Lord, and multiply it in Jesus' name, amen. You can stand with me, turn to Luke's gospel. Today is the eighth day. And I pick Luke 8 because I feel in my spirit. I lie in my bed. I say, God, what should I preach? Eight is new beginning. And this is a fresh word. Amen. Let us stand to read God's word. He says, and it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And a certain woman which had been healed of evil spirit and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils and Joanna, the wife of Caesar Herod stood, and Susanna, and many others which minister unto him of their substance. Verse 4, And when much people were gathered together, and were come to him out of every city, he spoke a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and he sowed some fell by the wayside. And it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. Some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. Other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that have ears to hear. Let him hear. And his disciple asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said unto you, It is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parable, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. 
Those by the wayside are they that fear, then cometh the devil, and take away the word out of their heart, lest they should believe and be saved. Then on the rocks are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in times of temptation fall away. And that which fell among thorns are they which, when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with tears and riches and pleasure of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart, having heard, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Bless your word. Give us ears to hear and heart to believe your word, Father. And Lord, we thank you for the power of the word. And Father, we give him victory and miracles. And we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give God praise. Give him praise. Praise God. Mark 4 and 23, Jesus said, If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Tell your neighbor, if everyone has ears to hear, let him hear. That's why God gave us ears to hear and a heart to believe. 1 Corinthians 5, 7 says, Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. Romans 10, 17, write it down. Faith comes by hearing. Hebrew 11, success. But without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. I want Hebrew 4, 12 said. Everybody should know Hebrew 4, 12. I preach on this. For our weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through what? Through what? In pulling down strongholds. The mighty in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh. In the beginning, in Genesis, Jesus was there. And he said, let us make man. Let us, let there be light. Words are powerful. Amen. In, in Proverbs 18, 21. Everybody should know Proverbs 18, 21. Life and death is in the power of your mouth. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yes. You're trying to preach my message. There's, there's powerful words in your mouth. Amen. There's prophetic words in your Amen. mouth. Amen. There's word of knowledge in your mouth. Amen. Amen. There's word of wisdom in your mouth. That's right. You can speak a word of exhortation, That's edification. Right. And comfort. Amen. Your word is powerful. Amen. Amen. Jesus spoke the word. He said, you are healed. You are clean. Amen. Amen. And you can speak word. Amen. Praise God. Don't worry. You got to live. You're not going to die. God will let you know when you're ready to die. He can tell you, prepare yourself. Amen. He will tell you, prepare yourself. As he told Moses and Aaron, go in the mountain. If you walk with God, you will hear God's word. Amen. Amen. You have a relationship with God. God will tell you things to come. Right. You sing, yeah. I'm a friend of God. When last did God speak to you? As a friend, your friend will tell your friend your secret. And your friend will not let out your secret. Your friend will pray about the situation and circumstances. Heart and behold, they went out as sow to sow. You can read the same scripture in, in Mark's gospel chapter 4. Amen. It's, it's in Mark Gospel chapter 4. I, I read it this morning. But here Jesus, the parable of the sower. And when much people had gathered together, there came to him out of every city. He spoke to them by a parable. To his disciples, he explained the parable. Yes. We are the children of the Most High. Hallelujah. And God is speaking yes. to us yes. through his yes. word. Yes. His word is a lamp unto our feet. Come on. And a light unto our path. At the entrance of his word, it brings discernment and understanding. It brings pleasure that when you hear the word of God and obey the word of God, it brings blessing. Jesus is the word. Amen. Remember what he said in, in, to the devil? When the devil says, 
turn the stone into bread and eat. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. So yes, you could hold your Bible, you could kiss your Bible, you could believe your Bible. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper Amen. than any two-edged sword. Amen? Amen? Amen. The word of God is quick and powerful. You need to put that one up. Hebrews chapter 4, I believe in verse 12. The word of God is quick and powerful. Amen. Jesus said, my word like sword. And when we pass the speech of word, the word chop us. Yeah. Amen. It cuts us. It gives us discernment. Yes. An intent of the heart. And then the word go forth. For the word of God is quick. Tell everybody the word of God is quick. quick. Faster than a gun. Yeah, Come on, church. The word of God is quick and what? Powerful. Come on, stop and, and think on that and chew on that. Powerful. The word of God is quick and Powerful. powerful. Tell your neighbor, the word of God is quick and powerful. And sharper. Not only quick and powerful more than any gun and any bomb, but sharper than any two-edged sword. Yo, come on church, give me praise. Somebody should stand up and shout and praise God. Because the word that you will receive could chop your enemy. Come on. Pierce even to the dividend asunder the soul and the spirit. Ask Jesus when he was tempted by the devil, turn these stone into bread. And Jesus said, Satan, get thee behind me. Satan, you shall not tempt the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Piercing into the divine asunder soul and spirit. Can you imagine that? It's more powerful than a surgeon knife. Dividing asunder the soul, the spirit, the joints and marrow. Even that is a dishonor of your thoughts, intent of the heart. That's how powerful the discern. Amen. You know the intent of your heart. You know your, your, your intention and your agenda. Is your agenda this morning to glorify God? Is your agenda this morning to hear the word of God? Is the agenda that says, I am the God that heal it me. Come on. Hallelujah. In Exodus 23, 25, say, I will bless your bread. The word says, and I'll bless your water, and I'll remove sickness from among you. So here Jesus said, a sower went out to sow his seed. If you're a farmer, my dad was a rice farmer, and I learned from my dad a couple of things in rice farming. How to sow in the acres. Hallelujah. And how to reap in the thousands. Amen. And a good farmer knows how to till the ground. Hallelujah. Praise God. He knows how to plow that ground, mash that ground up, get the dirt very soft, get the grass and any hindrance to the earth and go to deep that that root could penetrate. Hallelujah. And your heart this morning is the ground. Yes. Amen. I say your heart is the ground. Yes. And what's in your heart? Remove every hindrance. And every blockage this morning. And let the word go forth to bring healing. Come on, church. Give him praise. Let the word go forth to bring resurrection power. Let the word go forth because Jesus said, I, Amen. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. Talking about himself. And the word was God. Come on. Somebody says, Amen. You quiet this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Somebody stand up and stretch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch. Amen. Because let the word go deeper. Take a deep breath. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. So the word bring life. And the life was the light of men, and the light shine in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. So here Jesus began to sow the word. A sower went out to sow his seed. He sowed some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devour it. We got a board in our home, and that board knows how to devour a bird seed. For over 12 years, that bird is living on bird seed. I never see one day that bird eat some meat. I tried to give him crackers, but that bird will eat bird seed. And Jesus said, the sower come, and he saw the seed. Some fell by the wayside. It was trodden down. 
the fall of, of the end, devoured. Birds came and devoured the seed. And that's how the enemy come, to devour your home. Yeah. To kill, steal, and destroy. The word of God, amen, is powerful. And the word brings healing, the word brings faith. Let God arise and let the enemies scatter. I'm here to tell you this morning, God's word is like a hammer. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, God's word is like a fire. Yeah. Jeremiah 23, 29. Everybody said, Jeremiah 23, 29. So when you pray, you say, Lord, you said in Jeremiah 23, 29. You can open your Bibles. They're going to put it on the board. God's word is like fire. Amen. Is not my word like fire, yeah. says the Lord, or like a hammer that break the rock in pieces. God's word is like fire, yeah. and a carpenter tool is a hammer. Yeah. Amen. And God's word is powerful. It can break down, or the same Diana or Trinidad, it can mash up any works of Satan. In verse 6, it says that some fell upon a rock. And as soon as it was sprang up, it went away because it lacked no moisture. You ever throw water on rocks? Yeah. And it's a hot day, it just dry up. It just dry up. God's word is powerful. But that seed went through that crack, sprang up because there was no water, no moisture. Yeah. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprang up within and shook it. How much of us are gardeners? You don't plant a garden in your backyard? Amen. When you plant a seed, you got to remove the thorns that will kill it or, or the grass. You got to pluck it out. Amen. You have to dig the, 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 the seed around moist and you have to water. Praise God. And you have to wait for that moment that that plant will go up to bring forth fruit. But there's things around us that will choke us. Yes. 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 There's unbelievers around us yes. that we tend to listen to them. Yes. And they will choke you. They will kill you. Yes. You got to hear the word of God and have faith yes. in God's word. All the fell, verse 8, fell on good ground. Fell on good ground. Sprang up, bear fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried and he had said, he that have ears to hear, let them hear. But the disciples did not understand what the Lord was saying. I'm here and saying to you this morning, hear the word of the Lord. Yes. Hear the spirit of God. Yes. Hear and you shall live. Yes. Get understanding and you'll get amen, knowledge and wisdom to deal with situations yes. and circumstances. Words are powerful. Yes. Yes. Amen. Some people are very negative. God give you words, words of knowledge. Develop the words of knowledge. As you spend time in the word, God, the Holy Spirit, give you the words of knowledge. And the words of knowledge will come upon me often to say there's somebody with back problem. I feel your pain. Words of knowledge. Somebody with ear problem. My ear just popped. A couple of Tuesdays ago, we were here praying. And for those who are here, I said, I have, I'm just feeling headache and stress. At the end of the service, and there was two people with headache and stress. It's called the words of knowledge. Hallelujah. Amen. And when I speak it, I speak it by faith. Because I know I came to church with no stress. And no tension in my head. And no headache. But God gave me the word of knowledge. And I declare it. Praise God. And they came up. Words of knowledge and words of wisdom. How to deal with the situation. How should I pray for these people? Headache and stress. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray God's word. Father, touch them. Amen. You send your word to yes. be healed. Yes. Your word said in Exodus 15, 26, I am the God that healed thee. So the disciple, remember Jesus had a bunch of unlearned and untrained fishermen and tax collector. They were not university graduate or Bible college. And now the parable, verse 11, is this. The seed is the word of God. Tell your neighbor, the seed yes. is the word of God. Wow. Many people come to church on a Saturday and a Sunday, but how much do they retain? How much do they remember? Yeah. It's good to take notes. Yeah. 
and write notes. The pastor come all, you on this day you preach on the word. The seed of the sower, praise God. And what he says, the problem is this, the seed is the word of God. And those by the wayside are they that hear. So people come to church, they hear. Then come the devil and take away the word. Don't believe what the pastor says. They lie. And some people say, oh, we, and they try to accuse the pastor of all kinds of things because they don't have the word deep within their heart. The yes. devil come to mess with their minds. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Yep. Amen. That's why you got to cover your, your minds with the helmet of salvation. Hallelujah. Have the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. Have the shield of faith to quench every fiery darts of the wicked. Yes. And the belt of truth and know the word of God. The Bible says in the last days there will be many false prophets. Yes. And the very elect will be deceived. And if you know the word of God, some people, Jesus said in John 6 and 63, is my, my word is not life. Is my word spirit and life? Yeah. So many people will come and preach the word and say, yeah, yeah, good word. But it's the word with the spirit. Come on, tell your yeah. neighbor. The word with the spirit brings life. Amen. John 6 and 63. You can read it so powerful. Let me read it quickly for you. John 6 and 63, what you, it is the spirit that quickens. Quicken what? The word. The flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you are spirit. They are life. So the word bring, the word is quickened to you. It brings its spirit and life. So when you hear the word of God, believe the word of God. Amen. Let the word be quickened in your mortal body. Amen. I am the God that heal it ye. This body will give you all kind of signal. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I am diabetic. Oh, I am this and that and all things. But you could say the word by his strength. I am and healed. Heal. Hallelujah. You declare the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within the, the word become an antidote. The word become yeah, medicine yeah, to your yeah, bones. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yea, do I walk through the valley? Uh, no, no, I'm going to die. Oh, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall not fear not, for thou art with me. Come on, thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table. In the presence of my enemy. Thou anoints my head with oil. Come on, declare it. My cup shall run it over. Surely goodness. Hallelujah. Surely goodness and mercy. And follow me all the days of my life. I know we, while we drive in, we can't read the Bible. But we can declare the word of God. We can declare Luke 10, 19. We can declare Acts 2 and 2. Acts chapter 2 and 3. Amen, that the fire of God and the spirit of God, amen, recite the word of God, put the word in your heart. When you have the word in your heart, you will not sin. Amen. Yeah, the word is a lamp unto my feet amen. and a light unto my path. So Jesus is the word. Amen. And Jesus uh, enlightened them. He said, he said, the power of the word, the seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are, they hear, then come at the devil and take away the word out of their heart. Wonder how the devil come and take away the word out of their heart. They have no grounds. They come in one ears, and they go out the next ears. But when he said, Lord, when I receive the word, it will come to my heart. By faith, I'll receive the word. Hallelujah. By faith, I will declare Amen. Amen. Me and Hannah, we bought a house with a blank check with no money. <laughs> right over there. Hallelujah. Four Silver Street. We gave the guy a blank check. We didn't know where the money will come from, but that is faith. Amen. Yes. Amen. Our home we live in was another $500 check. We don't know where the money would come from, but we had faith in God. We were crying out to God for a house and a home. And we did not know where a down payment will come from. Amen? Yes. But God is a provider. Yes. 
Amen. You got to practice what you preach. Amen. And I say, God, I give you thanks and I give you praise. Our sister-in-law house next door to us well, was another check that was given. And she lived in the house. So you do things by faith. Yeah. Faith in God's word and where the money is going to come from. God is a provider. Yeah. Amen. God is a provider. Yeah. So God wants us to walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. And Jesus gave them the explanation. And then on the rock. They which when they heard received the word with joy. Hey, hey hallelujah. Ba Pastor Johan preach a good word. Pastor Kamal preach a good word. And they go out with joy. And these have no root. These have no root. Just like my grandfather and my grandfather brother and my dad was rice farmer. And I see how they will plow the land. How they will mash up and break up the dirt. That when they soak that paddy and the paddy have a little seed and they will be like five men that they will take that paddy with their hands and throw it in that field and they got to do a good job if they miss a spot there will be a blank spot and they have to control the water for that rice to grow and they got to watch their crops make sure there's no no, no worms, and the, 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 when the rain falls, the rain has to be at a certain level. And they'll watch that crop grow, praise God. When God give you the word, and you get a prophetic word, pray over that prophetic word. Amen. God, you said, and I believe. Yes. Amen. God, you said, and I believe. You hear a prophetic word, and you put the word on the shelf. God, you said, I'll be the head, and not the tail. You said I'll be above and not beneath. You said I'm going to be a lender, not the borrower. You said I'll be a noted preacher. Let me see how this is going to happen. So Jesus gave them the explanation that those that went on the rock had no root. For a while they believed, verse 13. You, you believe, you believe that's, how, that's how some people backslide? They have no depth. They expect a, you know, microwave style. They have no root. They believe it's just for a moment. In times of temptation, they fall away. Verse 14, Luke 8, 14. And when, and that which fell among turns are they which when they have heard go forth, they are choked with the cares. And riches, the stock exchange, and business, and whatever else, and pleasures of this life bring no fruit to perfection. They want to enjoy life. They are choked with the cares. They think about other things, other association, materialism. They want a party. And then tomorrow morning, show up to church. And during the week, live like a devil. And show up again. They have tears, riches, pleasure of this life. They bring no fruit to perfection. And verse 15, but that on the good ground. That's you and me, are they? Which in an honest and good heart, Having heard the word, keep it. Bring forth food with patience. With patience. I said with patience. Let's go back to what Jesus said in Mark Gospel, chapter 4, I believe. And verse 20, that when you sow the word, you shall reap. Amen. Jesus opened his mouth to give his disciples explanation of the word. When God's words are deep inside, it is written up on the table of your heart. Amen. You can declare and decree a prayer or a yes. thing, and it shall come to pass. Amen. And what Jesus said, and these are they which are sowed on good ground. Mm -hmm. Say good ground. good ground. Such as heard the word, receive it. They bring forth fruit, some toward the fall. Are you a 34 this morning? No. Some 60 fold. And some 100 fold. 
Amen. In the fullness, praise God. These are new on good ground when you plant your seed. On good ground when you sow. On good ground when you pray. You shall bring forth a harvest. You shall bring forth a miracle. Words has fire to your bones. War has fire to your body. Words have fire to bring war. Back in Guyana, me and Hannah went to Guyana in 2000, and we see two neighbor fighting. Words, cutlass and pitchfork. And they have to call the authority. Words between families. But you have a word of knowledge and a word of comfort and a word of exhortation. You got calm in the midst of the storm. Yeah, Ask my brother, Pastor Johan, in 2004, when they think they caught two terrorists in Buffalo, was words. We speak white words. They look at us. They could not write us a ticket. Lock them up. <laughs> Send them to Guantanamo. They could not touch us because... I open my Bible, and my Bible said, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for great is their reward. We start to pray. We start to ask God for Michael and Gabriel. Amen. I was feeling cold. And then Michael and Gabriel came, FBI, to Christian Federal Bureau of Investigation. What did you say? We prayed. And we spoke the word of God. So when you speak the word of God, prosecution will come. Amen. When you speak the word of God, some people won't be your friend. Yes. When you speak the word of God, praise God. The word of God is quick and powerful. Yes. The word of God is a, a discernment for your intent. Praise God. Yes. Some people, they want to twist the word to suit their lifestyle. Yes. 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 That's right. yes. Amen. Amen. But God's word is a lamp unto our feet yes. and a light unto our path. Yes. Jesus' word was powerful. Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I don't know where Lazarus was. Lazarus' soul was in paradise, but Lazarus evicted from paradise, came back into his body that was stink for four days. Come on. All of Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. And it was resurrection power. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can call those things though you have not seen, yes. but you can believe. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. What you need. Amen. You can call those sinners into repentance. You can call those family by name. Amen. Though you haven't seen them in church, but by faith, you could call them and say, son, daughter, children, uncle, I could see you sitting in front. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, one time I was in the world and my mother said, that's the last dance you're going to dance. Come on out here. Yeah. Amen. Because God's word is quick and powerful. Yeah. Amen. And once you are you, you are pure and you're holy and you're walking right with God, you could speak God's word. Amen. And God will hear you. Yeah. Word is like fire. Word with boldness. Words of knowledge. Wonderful to speak in tongues. But you must give an English explanation. Come on. For edification, for comfort. Amen. Praise God. If God give me the words of, uh, of tongues, hallelujah, to speak in tongues, well, God give me tongues to speak in English. Yes. Amen. You can ask for those gifts. Yes. Tongues and what is the other one? And interpretation. Yes. Words of knowledge, words of wisdom. Amen. Discernment of the spirit to know what is of God and what is of the flesh. And here Jesus said, and they which fell among the thorns are they which, when they hear, go forth, are choked with cares and riches and pleasure of life and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on good ground are they which an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Children, hear the words of God. Amen. He that have an ear, Jesus said, let him hear. Amen. He that have an ear, Matthew eleven fifteen. hear what the Spirit of God is saying in this hour. Revelation 20, 11, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Revelation 2 and 7, he who has an ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches, to the one who is victorious, I will grant the right to eat from the tree of life in the paradise of God. 
We got to be overcome. We got to be overcome by the words. Amen. Amen. Revelation 12. Is it Revelation 12, 11? You're overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And the words of your mouth. The words of our testimony. Amen. Hey, hey, let me tell you something. That's one right from the Holy Ghost. It's not written in my, in my notes. God wants you to be an overcomer. Amen. Revelation 12, 11. That you speak the right word. And I know you will come in contact with evil people. And they want a voice, words at you. But thank God you have a shield of faith. Amen. To quench every fiery darts Amen. of the wicked. Amen. Because the word of God is in you. You will have patience. Yes. And I know some of us is short fused. Yes. That you're ready to give an eye for an eye. <laughs> and somebody tell you something, you're ready to open your mouth, but let me be patience. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen? Speak word of life. Yes. Amen. Well, you speak bad word, God bless you, my brother. Yes. I have a shield Amen. around me. They don't understand the shield, but they throw words. And when they throw words, people take those words. We got evil people will come across, witches and warlocks. False prophet. Yes, 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 We've yes. encountered Jezebel, a Jezebel's yes. sister. Yes. And all these things. Yes. And people spend their money to go hear yes. from the psychic. Yes. And all, uh, the, the, they say, tomorrow so and so and so, and they take your money, and nothing happened. <laughs> come on. But when you plant on good ground, come on, praise yes. God. When you sow your seed on good ground, Amen. there's a harvest comfort. Amen. But you gotta take care of your ground. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. You gotta make sure your ground is well watered in yes. prayer. Yes. Yes. You need to make sure you plow your ground Amen. and you plow, sow your seed. Yes. But church, you must guard the word of God. Yes. That when you hear the word of God, by his stripe I'm healed. Hallelujah. Oh God, I hold on to your word. Yes. I hold on to your word. Yes. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And your word is spirit and your word is life. Your word brings destruction to the enemy. I'm here to tell you to study the word of God. Yes. Believe the word of God. What Jesus said, hallelujah. Somebody please praise him. Can you put up Revelation 12, 11? Hallelujah. When the devil come, you can say, I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. I'm sanctified in the blood of Jesus. With my, with my spirit, soul, body, and mind. And when your body, mind, soul, and spirit is sanctified with the word of God, the word of God will go deep. They overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb. And you have to overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb. And by the words of their testimony. They love not their own life unto death. You can speak a good word to your spouse, to your children. Sometimes they can be bad, but you can still speak, oh, son, I love you. I'm praying for you. Give them good words. Speak life. Show them the love of the Father. You cannot fight evil with evil. You fight evil with good. They call Jesus wine driver. They call him Beelzebub. They call him all kind of names. They spit on him. Jesus never get upset. He overcome. Amen. He overcome because he know the Holy Spirit yes. was upon him. He knows his walk with God. Hallelujah. And we must be an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Amen. You have to develop those words in you. Love, the gifts of the Spirit, Amen. the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Don't try to be your father or your mother's children. Because mommy did this, I must do this, and it's the wrong way. Yes. What God's word says, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm a child of the king. 
Come on, church. I'm a child of the king. I'm full with wisdom. I'm full with knowledge. And I'm full with understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, give me some more knowledge and some more of your understanding. Solomon had all the wisdom. And yet he missed it in the end. Wisdom is good, but wisdom with understanding. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. That, that's, why you, that's why you worked. Because God gave you wisdom to solve a, solve a problem. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And this is the God we serve, that when the word of God comes, let it come on good ground. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And you must read your word. You must believe God's word, because God's word is life. Come and praise him. God's word is love. God's word is written. Amen. And Jesus opened his mouth and he gave his disciple an explanation of the, of the word. He gave an explanation of the seeds. The seed is powerful. Amen. Your seed is your children. Amen. And let your children be strong in the word of God. In for you, let the word of God be quick in you. Let the word, praise God. Lord, put the word in my mouth, what they speak. Hallelujah. Lord, put in your words in my heart. When you go before God, Lord, give me wisdom to speak before you. Because God is an all-wise God. Lord, forgive me what they say to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let your word bring healing Amen. and health yes. and restoration. When you pray for someone, pray the word of God over their life. God, your word said, Amen. by your stripe I'm healed. Amen. And I'm believing you to heal. Amen. I'm believing for resurrection power. Amen. I'm believing for love. I'm believing God will turn situation around. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name, who forgive all my iniquity and heal it all my disease. At one time, I was in the island of Tobago, and Margaret Elkop, God bless her, Isaac 98.1 in Trinidad. He said, Pastor, come on, you will come on the radio with me. And I so felt a fear. And I said, oh God, what should I speak? What should I say? And I start to read my Bible, and I'll never forget as long as I live. When the Lord said to me, in Isaiah 52, and I still have it in my right Bible here, Isaiah 51 and 16, and I write it here, Tobago, 1st of June, 00. zero. The Lord of God spoke to me. I said, oh God, I'm going on this radio. 7, 10 a.m. Across live and people will be listening to me. I said, oh God, put a word in my mouth. What does it say? And the Lord opened my eyes and he said, in Isaiah 51, 16, and I have put my words in thy mouth. Yes. Come on, church. Yes, yes, yes. And I have put my words in your mouth. You can write that word. Isaiah 51 and verse 60. God said, I will put in my words in your mouth. And I cover thee with the shadow of my hand. And I plant the heavens and lay the foundation of the earth. And say unto Zion, thou art my people. I'll never forget that. How much years ago, church? It's 20 years ago. And that was my beginning in Trinidad on radio. I said, God, I do not know what to say. And that's what the Lord says. I will put my words Amen. in your mouth. Amen. Come on, church. Lift your hands. Lord, put your words in my mouth what to speak. God, I do not know what I'm going to say. But he said, you open my, your mouth. And I will put my words in your mouth. Amen. And Jesus spoke the words. Some went on stony ground. They could not bring forth fruits. Some men went by the wayside. The birds came and devoured the seed. But Jesus said, some went on good ground. And when that word fall on good ground, it becomes seed. Hallelujah. 
When that soul is water, the word sprang up. Come on, church. And that word will bring forth a fruit. And you see that fruit of your prayer. You see that fruit of sowing your seeds, watering your seeds, and hearing the word of God. And church, you will bring forth. Come on, church. You will bring forth a 30 fold. It depends on your faith. Amen. It depends on your desire. It depends on your hunger. Or you can go to a, a greater level and bring forth a 60 fold. But I want to bring forth a hundredfold. Amen. Come on, church. I want to bring forth in abundance. Somebody praise him. Amen. Amen. I want to bring forth. Amen. Let your word saturate my inner being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I do not know what to speak. I do not know what to say. But God said, I'll put my words in your mouth. Yes. And I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand. What else do I need to hear, church? If God said it, he will bring it to pass. Amen. That's right. If God speak the word, the word will bring forth a harvest. Yes. And this word came to me 20 years ago, and it's still quick. Come on, church. Yes. It's still powerful. Can somebody say amen? amen. God's word is the same yesterday, amen. today, amen. and forever. Amen. And God has not given us a spirit of faith, fear. But of love, Amen. of power, Amen. and of some mind. I was in Miami, and I came back to Toronto, and I hear God says, Exodus 23, 25. Francis, you can put it on there. And I can never forget Exodus 23 and 25, because God put that word in my heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And when God said, I will bless your bread, your bread is blessed. Come on, praise him. When God said, I will bless your water, Amen. your water is blessed. And when God said, you are healed. And you shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread, your food, your cupboard, your finance, amen, and your water. You need water to sow. You need water to sprinkle up on the seed. You need water for good, amen, and the water, come on. The water it comes for the washing of the word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You put your seed, and if you don't water your seed, your seed can't grow. Your seed got to be water in prayer. Somebody praise him. That you can hear the word of God. You can hear the word of God preach for you for 20 years. And you're still living the same old, same life. Come on, church, arise. If God word said you're here, I'm here. If God said you're the head and not the tail, you're the head and not the tail. God said you are blessed, you are blessed. God said serve him. You will bless your bread. He will bless your water. He will take away sickness from the midst of you. And I can stand on that. Come on, church. Yes, if, that, yes, if you come to hear Exodus 23 and 25, to God be the glory. But today I challenge you in the name of Jesus, become a hundredfold. Come on, church. That when you hear the word of God, I want to be a hundredfold blessing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. When Jesus spoke the word, his word was life. His word was health. His word was healing. His word was resurrection power. Amen. When Jesus spoke the word, they don't have to flee. That's right. He tell you unclean spirit, move out. Amen. He tell you unclean spirit, go. And those unclean spirit said, let's go into the pigs. They asked for destination. So God's word is powerful. We can talk all we want to talk to our children, but speak God's word, word to them. Yes. Son, daughter, you're the head, and not the tail. Child, God will make you a blessing to me. Yes. God blessed me with four daughters, and I always pray. I said, God, you give me four daughters to bless me and to be a blessing to my wife and me. Amen. Amen. God, give me a home. I said, Lord, this home you give me, the gospel will preach to the ends of the earth. Amen. Speak life. Speak health, yes. speak courage, yes. speak boldness, Amen. pray, yes. pray yes. in the name of Jesus, yes. pray, and your prayer must be prophetic, yes. because yes. God's word says, I'll put my words in your mouth, yes. Yes. amen, I'll overshadow you with my hands, yes. hold my son, and speak the word of God, and you know what, I give God thanks and praise, yes. and we went over nightlight, over television, across 
2 o'clock in the morning and we'll speak the word over TV. Who will listen to us 2 in the morning? But some people will see us. When they get up to go to the bathroom, they put on CTS. Whoa, Pastor Kamal on the television. Miss Monica will wake up, and others will wake up, and we'll start to pray. Amen. People overnight like want to commit suicide, and we start to pray. And those prayer lines, hallelujah, will start to ring. Effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man available much. Hallelujah. When the word of God is sown, pay attention to the word of God. Don't think you know everything. I don't know everything. <coughs> Amen. Because one word will change your life. Amen. One word yeah. from the prophet, one word from the pastor will bring revelation. Yeah. One word yeah. from God. Holy Bible will yeah. change your circumstances yeah. and your situation. Faith comes by yeah. hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans 10, 17. Hebrews 11, 6. Let's close with Hebrew 11, 6. Everybody stand up and let's declare Hebrew 11 and verse 6. But without faith. Everybody read it. But without faith, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that come to God must believe. Must believe. So when you come to prayer, you must believe. I must believe for you. Amen. I must believe. For he that come to God must believe. He is. And that he is a rewarder. What it says there? He's a rewarder. You want 30 fold? You want 60 fold? He's a rewarder. He's a rewarder. Hallelujah. My father is a rewarder. Yes, we are farmers. We prepare the ground. We put the seed. We control the water. We protect the words from flies, from devils, to, from stealing the word. The cares of this world, the pleasure of this world. Now, oh God, I want to bring, bring forth a hundredfold. Yes. Amen. He's a rewarder to them that diligently, tell your neighbor, God, diligently God. seek Him, yes. diligently pray, for, pray, diligently thank God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When you believe God, praise God. The word. The word of God. I said the word of God. Amen. If God could say, let there be light. Hallelujah. Let there be love. I can say, let there be love. Yes. In Hallelujah. your life. Because yes. God is love. Yes. What else can I give you that is free? Yes. Let there be peace. Hallelujah. Let you be healthy in your spirit, soul, body. You must live, church. I said, I must live. Yes. I must live to preach God's word. Amen. Amen. I must live to pray for someone. Yes. I must live to see my grandson get married. I tell him, Amen. I tell him, I said, Matthew, you have to live. Yes. I must live to declare and decree your word. Yes. God has to put this word in your heart that you hear the word of God and live. Amen. Hear the word of God and Praise him. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word. Yes. As I close, and the word was God. Hallelujah. The word was God. Yes. And the word is still present Amen. today. Amen. The word is still quick. Amen. The word is still powerful. Amen. Light of this world. You step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Amen. Church, you see how God is so quick and powerful. That God remind me today that when I want to speak the word over radio, He say, open your mouth. Open your mouth. And I'll put my words in your mouth. Amen. I'm here to tell you this morning, open your mouth. 
Say, God, put your words in my mouth. I'm here to say, be a wise servant. Be a wise servant. much it costs to see my sins upon that cross. Proverbs 18, verse 20 and 21. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lip shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. So I challenge you, church, for those who are watching, speak the right words. Believe God's word. Pray God for an increase. Father, we thank you for the word. We thank you for the word that is sown across the airwaves and into Trinity Gospel Ministry. Father, that we'll have faith in your word. That we can declare we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are lenders and not borrowers. And we can declare and decree by your strike we are healed. Father, increase the word in our hearts. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Father, I pray a blessing upon each and every one that is watching and that are here this morning. Let your resurrection power come forth. And Lord Jesus, as you sing to your church, arise. 
I speak to the church. I speak to every believers to rise in God's word and to believe God's word. A lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Fill us with wisdom and knowledge and understanding of your word. Father, as we pray your word over your people, make them the head and not the tail. Make them above and not beneath. Make them filled with wisdom of your word and knowledge and understanding of your word. Father, when we ask for more of the word, we ask in for more of Jesus. Because Jesus, you are the word and you're the wisdom of God and you're the power of God. So in the name of Jesus, bless your people and anoint your people. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save my soul. I turn from every wicked ways. And Lord, wash me with your blood and cleanse my heart. With my heart, I believe Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. And with my mouth, I confess him as my great high priest. And Father, I take authority right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I speak healing to your children's body. I command every cancer be removed in the name of Jesus. I pray for Sharon to be healed. Her bone marrow will produce healthy blood cell. I pray for Andrew to be restored to 100%. I pray for Sabrina to be restored to divine health. I pray for all those who are sick in body. I pray for Sister Teresa to be made whole. Sister Jennifer to be healed. And everyone that is sick in body, mind, soul, and spirit. I pray for Margaret, wherever Margaret is. Touch Margaret and Mandy and all the rest, Father. I pray for those who are shut in. I pray for Dorothy. Touch Dorothy. Touch Kathleen. Touch Ryan and Robert. Spirit of the living God, breathe upon your children. Overshadow them. Put the word into their heart. And Lord, we believe for miracle. We believe for healing. We believe for each and every one that is gathered here. Father, touch their body from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Mighty God of Israel, we give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.